Hey YouTube, Mega Lizard Freak here, and here's my rev here's my survival kit. Right here, it's it's about seven inches long, and that's when it's a very small package, seven inches long, two inches wide, and it contains every necessity you will need for survival. First on it, I have a carabiner so I can attach it to my belt, hang it for my tent, whatever you want. Next, let me open it up. Right here is a survival guide. It tells you everything you need to do in survival. It says just everything you need to know. Next, here's my survival kit. First, I have um, 50 yards of 50 pound test fishing line. And that's wrapped over a pen tube, so in case I need to write or something. And then after that, I have a Ziploc bag. It's a pretty good size bag. It's real small and tight in, in that little package. And then next right here is 15 feet of nylon cord. I think it's like a 100 pound test or something before it breaks. And then right here, snare wire, 50 feet of snare wire. After that, I have fishing lures. Say I don't, in case I don't have any bait or whatever, you know. And then I have a, two razors inside there. And then I have these little scalpel blades. Really good to have for skinning game, cutting an incision, anything really. And then I have um, thread. A lot of real strong thread. And then, where'd it go? Oh, then I have 50 feet of six pound test fishing line. Say I need to catch smaller fish. And then this I could use for snares or whatever you want, really. And then I have waterproof matches. Really, really recommend these. Now, are they waterproof, like you can go under water and light one? No, but say it gets damp, a little bit of wet, it's not going to fail on you. They're still going to light. The only part that might fail is that striker, and I carry another striker in here anyways, and stuff. So, yeah. And then right here, I carry a pocket knife, just a regular old cheapy pocket knife. And it's wrapped in, like, leather or rope, and it's pretty good. The knife's not like um, a cold steel triad lock really good knife, but it's still a knife. I mean, a knife's an indispensable tool for survival. Right here is duct tape. I'm not exactly sure how long it is. I think it's like 20 feet, though. And then after that duct tape, I have some more snare wire. 15 feet of snare wire. And then I have hooks. And split shots of various size and weight. Oh, another fishing lure. And then I have safety pins, split shots. I have like five safety pins in here. And then a lar very large safety pin. And then after that, I have a compass. Really recommend one of these for survival. Or just going out camping in general. That wheel turns. So you can, um, just, like, yeah, so it's easier. And then right here I have matches. More matches. These ones aren't waterproof, they're just your standard old matches. I think I have 25 here. And then I have a really big Ziploc bag in here. As you can see, I mean, it's huge. Here's it next to the survival kit. Or over it. Like Five of those, six of those survival kits can fit in there. And then I have a lot of tin foil. I think it's three square yards of tin foil, and I ran it over to flatten it real good. And then I have a signal mirror. Boom, signaling. And then I have a big band aid. And then I have a emergency trauma first aid kit type of guide. And then I have band-aids, because those are indispensable too, really, in survival. More band-aids. These are all various size and lengths. And then I have Morse code guide. And after the Morse code guide, I have a gauze pad. 
really, really recommend a gauze pad for bad trauma. And then right here is other band more band-aids, as you can see, they're shaped like that and stuff. And then right here I have a ground to air signal guide. And it says the name of poisonous insects and yellow jacket, deer flies, horse flies, stuff like that. Another fishing hook, and then I have a sewing needle right there too. So yeah, there's my survival kit. Hope you like it. And if you saw my buoy and survival kit um, uh, mix, I don't have that anymore. I just have my buoy with my Gerber profile on the back, and I carry this on my side. So hope you like it. Mega Lizard Freak, out.